KC's Audio Vault. Matt Mays. October 8th, 2008. Hey, man. How's it going today? Hey, it's going good. Kicking it. Kicking it? And in, in where are you? In Philly? I'm actually, uh, we did Philly last night. I'm in New York tonight and then uh, in Pittsburgh tomorrow. So you're at uh, home base for a little bit? Yeah, I had a day off, yeah. Uh, last time you talked, uh, you were just at the tail end of the Kid Rock tour and uh, was about to turn 29. Was it a good birthday this year? It was the best ever, yeah. What'd you get? I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. I just had a really good day. I hadn't had a day off in a while, and my girl and I just went around New York to a bunch of places we'd never been before on a little adventure and just had a really, uh, really memorable day. It was, it was fun. You recently relocated to New York. You're still just sort of... Uh, Getting to know everything? Yeah, yeah. It's um, It comes pretty fast in this town. You, you, you get pretty, um, you used to it pretty fast. I'm pretty familiar with the, you know, my, uh, my end of town anyways, you know. When you moved down there, did you end up shipping all your stuff? Or did you go buy brand new? Do you like going shopping for that kind of thing? Yeah, I live pretty simple. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I, I have a lot of stuff still up in Canada. And I just, uh, the place where I moved into was furnished and everything. So it was kind of just... Move down here and just bring a couple suitcases and get settled. I see uh, there's a couple write ups in the Village Voice and other uh, publications down in New York. I guess you're getting a pretty good response from the from the local shows. Yeah, yeah, no, everything's been going really well um, on the up and up. You know, it's good. That's why I moved down here. So it's nice to see it happening. Yeah, you just recently extended your current tour at, uh, that brings Matt Mays and El Torpedo to the Garrick just next uh, Wednesday. With playing so many shows, is there Anything that really bugs the hell out of you from the audiences? Like the guys at the back with their arms crossed or somebody yelling cocaine cowgirl over and over again? <laughs> uh, no, you know what? It's all part of what I love about a rock show. You know, it's all pretty acceptable. You know, I think that's what's good about something like a rock show is that people go, well, come out to get crazy. You know, people can yell what they want at me. I don't care. It's nothing I haven't heard. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just nice to get do what I love for a living. It's, uh, it's all entertaining to me. The latest album, Terminal Romance, uh, doesn't sound too optimistic. Plus, plus you got your dad's artwork on the cover, A Mechanical Heart. Have, have your past relationships led you to the place you're at now? Yeah, it's um, it's been a weird go um, over the years. With I mean, it's kind of on behalf of the, the whole band. We were all going through breakups over the last couple of years and 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 the, and the opposite too I mean this uh, terminal romance is in you know it's got an end to it but at the same time there's, there's a certain extreme feeling with that term and a lot of us have found it's some really incredible people over the last year or two and kind of more in a, you know, as far as finding soulmates and it's been a big four years for us as far as relationships go so I kind of wanted to cover some ground with all of that, you know. Do you live with your girlfriend in, in New York? No, no. We're uh, we're both traveling uh, traveling people. She's uh, She does her thing, I do mine, and I think that's why it works so much, you know. You got a new single, Building a Boat, and, and listening to it, it sounds, it sounds literal. Are there any metaphors in that one? I wanted it to be as literal as possible. And we just did the video, and in the video we're building a boat. <laughs> you know? And... Um, I, uh, it, it is and it isn't. I mean, it's, I grew up sailing, and boat building is something that I'm I'm pretty infatuated with. And I really love wooden schooners and um, build models from scratch of well, balsa wood schooners. And I don't know. I just uh, I, uh, I really have an infatuation with it. And at the same time, I was having this um, a real urge to get out of Halifax, where I was living at the time. So I was feeling like it was closing in on me. And, my relationship was over, and I don't know. It was just um, I just wanted to uh, literally cut a tree down and build a boat and sail out of there. Well, I appreciate uh, getting you on the Rock Report here, and Matt. Looking forward to the show next Wednesday night at the Garrick. Thanks so much. Hey, man. Thank you. Anytime. All the interviews you want on iTunes and at Power97.com. Casey's Audio Vault. Casey Norman is Power97's music director and can be heard every weekday from 2 till 6 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Power97 is Winnipeg's best rock.